entered the Fifth Third Building downtown, killing three people. Whitney Austin was there that morning. She was shot 12 times, and she has taken that tragedy, and she has turned it into a force for change through her nonprofit, Whitney Strong, and she joins us this morning via Zoom. Whitney, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You know, Whitney, you, you and I have been talking a lot back and forth over the last couple of months in preparation for the big event this weekend, but we have not had a chance to touch base since tragedy struck again at, at a grocery store just, just yesterday. And I can remember one point we were emailing when something tragically similar happened, and I asked if you were okay when you hear about another one of these events. So I'll, I'll just ask you simply that. Are, are you okay following this, this latest shooting? How do, how do you feel when news of that nature comes to you? No, I'm not okay. It's very difficult. We had a situation here in Louisville yesterday that was similar. Luckily, no one died. But when these moments erupt, it takes me back to what happened on September 6th. And at first, it's difficult. I get upset. But soon enough, I work through it and I go back to the work of Whitney Strong because that in and of itself is therapy. It's a reminder that I have the tools, we as a community have the tools to solve this problem. And so I focus on the work of Whitney Strong and it really makes a difference for me. But thank you for asking. And part of the work of Whitney Strong, it gets done through fundraising opportunities so you can help to make that change that you would like to make. And one of the big events is happening this weekend. and. I have the good fortune to get out and be at a lot of different events and see some different things. The way you're going about this is a little bit different, I would say, from a traditional fundraiser. Why did you want to do an event in the way you're doing it? And just talk about what's going to happen out there at Lunkin. Sure, absolutely. It's a night for life, reflections on survival, and the event itself focuses on four survivors of gun violence telling their stories through local professional artists. Now, first off, you should know I love the arts. I grew up singing and dancing and playing the flute, and I know what the arts can do in terms of telling a story. So I wanted to pull that into the work of Whitney Strong. Secondly, I think it's very important for people to better understand the stories of gun violence and for us to humanize these victims of gun violence and the survivors of gun violence. It takes a lot of different strategies to pull people into the work of reducing gun violence. And this is just one of them. There is no better way to pull someone into the work than to have them sit down and see a story told through the arts. So I'm really excited that we're going to be able to do this tomorrow and really thankful to the survivors who are brave enough to share their stories. It takes so much courage. And it's obviously not a community that anyone wants to be a part of, but how important is that community to one another as, as you've learned about some of these stories and met some of these people? So important. I mean, we are all going through a very difficult moment right now in the history of our country. So in some ways, I think everybody can understand. But when it comes to gun violence, we have all been through something that is unique and we lean upon one another when difficult moments erupt, whether it's being a survivor of mass shootings and seeing another mass shooting, or being a survivor of suicide, or being a survivor of community violence, we all come together when these difficult moments occur and we support one another. So yes, it's very important and I'm very thankful to have this circle of support. What's the biggest takeaway you want people to have for how the Whitney Strong Foundation perhaps is different from how other people are going about addressing gun violence? Because I think I think it's important that people know that your approach is is different. Can you talk about that just for a moment? Yeah, it is really important because we're doing this in a way that no one else is. We are here seeking common ground. We are not anti Second Amendment. We consist of gun owners, non gun owners. We're also bipartisan in our work, consisting of Republicans and Democrats. We are here to find common ground. And when we find those solutions, like we already have, we work to move them forward. And so there is room for everyone in this movement, and I encourage you to join us. Well, Whitney, I'm truly honored uh, to be a small part of the event tomorrow night, and I'm looking forward to seeing you and uh, everybody else out at Lunkin. So thanks for taking some time this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you.
All right, and a night for life is tomorrow. The event starts at 630 at Hangar 65 at Lunkin Airport. Tickets are available. Now you will need proof of COVID-19 vaccination or a negative test if you'd like to come and check out a very powerful evening. We have links with all of the information you need at local12.com. Thanks again to Whitney for joining us today, and she's going to be joining us again uh, at 4 o'clock uh, this afternoon as well. Megan Mangel is going to talk to her a little bit more about her personal journey. 914, blasting into Hyde Park, the major